Hello and welcome back for some more Persona 3 Portable, which I ain't recorded in a week. Uh, I am your host, Steven C10000, and in the last episode, we met Junpei. We went back to school, and Junpei was being an idiot. Yeah, that's about normal. Um, today, um, we're going to do more stuff. Because at the moment all we can do is sleep, eat and go to school apparently. So first thing I'm going to do today is go back to our room. I best thing swear to go back to my room. Obviously we have to do it by the save menu. Um, so yeah, how you guys been? I've been at uni all week, yay for uni. <laughs> will you go back to your room for today? Um, yes I will. And Stephen is super excited for Kingdom Hearts HD. Yay! Kingdom Hearts HD. Um, I'll put a link in the caption, whatever you call it, where I'll talk about um, Kingdom Hearts HD in a random video I recorded today. That is being uploaded as I recorded. It is currently 12.55pm on Friday the 21st of September 2000. And troll the day Borderlands gets released and the iPhone 5. You feel tired, you should get some rest. Thanks. So, we're just gonna go to sleep tonight because that's all we can do. And we hit midnight again. Ooh, scary. What I plan to do is record tons and tons and tons of footage. At a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. And you're very interesting as well. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Yeah. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. That's because she is a guinea pig, don't you know? She was a guinea pig in a human body. Not. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still... Um, with this, I had to re recall some of the voice, and there is actually a few screw ups in this. There's one case when Junpei calls the female main character a he. A emergency call from outside rang through the room. I just heard a dong. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's he has a big fat face off of him. No! That yep, here? that big fish he just caught is coming to you Mr. Chair, for the price of free. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Be careful. That never happens. <sighs> I'm all right. Yeah, he seems all right in his pool trap. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Oh, I love this music. This has got to be one of the best bits of music in the entire game. Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. Ooh. But what about you two? Yukari and the female main character is going to go out the back. I wonder what that could mean. We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. <laughs> yep, you don't have a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going. Your worm. You are woken by a loud noise. Should you go check outside? Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in. Well, if she wasn't. Have time to explain. We have to get out of here. We weren't wearing pajamas. We're screwed. 
Um, okay. Hurry downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. We. You can't be hand you a long thing implement. It seems to be a something. Naku ta. Okay, let's go. Follow me. I call it a extra long knife. <laughs> um, so Yukari obviously just had ra random weapons stuffed down her pants or skirt for no apparent reasons whatsoever. Because she has no pockets. Dormitory, first floor at the rear entrance. Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? And we apparently have a second monster after us. There it is! Let's pull back. Second floor. Uh, that normally indicates a window's broke. It's getting closer. Keep moving. Yeah, money might be a good idea. The dormitory rooftop. Oh, if you are playing Persona 3 or Persona FPS, you have to do some walking around the dorm before you get to this bit because this is Persona 3 portable. It doesn't happen. The door's locked. I think we're safe. We're safe. Now no, we're not safe. And we have a dude holding a mask. And dives! Ah! Four of them! Six! You gotta be kidding me! How did a random three with arms get six flipping knives? And a mask. Seriously? What is this? It climbed up the wall? Kids with teenagers with guns, random things with knives. Japan is quite corrupt. There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. So Shinji obviously wants us to die. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. As you can't really just explain, that thing you with ten knives in front of you is known as a Seto. They're the enemy in the game. Oh yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. <gasps> And we get to see a fight for the first time. It's you got here, Freddy. Here goes. As he's committed suicide again. She failed in committing suicide. Now I'm gonna be quiet for this bit. Cause just listen to this. And we get some random thing messing the thing up to death. Yay! We win. That was easy, wasn't it? I'm gonna link in the description to the anime cutscene. <laughs> See, summon something. An even scarier thing. What on earth was that? <gasps> the southern swirl of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. You have attained a new persona. So what you see in front of you or on the screen right now is called a persona. Each character has one. Well, the main characters you fight with in the game has a persona, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's basically how the characters do things like cast magic. They summon them by shooting themselves in the head. So the opening cutscene and thing just now, when Yukari 
was trying to shoot herself in the head. She wasn't actually shooting herself in the head. She was trying to use the gun, which is an evoker, to summon the persona. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts to shoot yourself in the head. It does. Is it over? I swear he got knocked out. It's still moving. A piece of the shadow is heading from you, heading for you, Carvey, not from you, Carvey. No, get away from me! You have to save her. <laughs> and after three parts and over. 45 minutes of gameplay, we get to actually do a battle! Yes! Um, not all the features of the battle will be available at this very moment in time. You get about 8 commands on the screen which are safe like a gun. The opening one is attack which will allow you to attack with your normal weapon. The next one is skill which allows you to use persona based skills. Next one is an item but that is currently unavailable. Um, Next one after that is Tactics, which allows you to switch Tactics. This is also not currently available. I forgot to say I came back. Um, persona allows you to switch to a new Persona. Note that only the main character is able to switch her Persona in the middle of the battle. This will be explained slightly later on. Defense is exclusive to Persona 3 Portable. If you're playing Persona 3 or Persona 3 FBA, FES, the command will be Wait, not Defend. This allows you to defend for one time hit and uh, take less damage. So for this battle, you will be perfectly fine with just using Bass. So, attack the first one with Bass, causing it to die. If it don't die, something's happened with the game. And then just basically Bass again. And we are dead. And it's dead. Um. There are two types of abilities. One is um, physical abilities. These will use HP. We warn you, of course, lower your HP, the more likely you are to die. Um, the other skills, which is like the equivalent of fire spell, fire, water, water, fire, etc., in like the Final Fantasy games and that, um, they take up SP, which are skill points. Um, at the end of every battle, you get experience, just like every Bob Standard RPG known to man. You felt a sudden surge of energy from after the recent battle. You level up. When your main when the character levels up, only HP and SP will increase. The other three things there, academics, charm and courage. They are built up by another method which we will learn about a bit later. Um you can fuse you can create personas up to the level you're currently at. So if you're level three, you can only create persona up to the level three. If you're level ten, you can create personas up to the level ten, so on, so on, and so on. Something inside of you has changed. Orpheus has leveled up. Another thing about the game is um, personas and the characters have separate levels. So you could have be level five, but you could have a level. 10 persona would well, that is possible so your persona level could actually be higher than your main character's level this will be quite a bit of the case earlier on in the game this persona level will be the one that will increase like your magic strength your attack strength and all that a level up for the persona will not increase your attack or sp or your any of your free um social stats this will only allow you to level up one of the Five persona abilities, strength, magic, endurance, agility and speed. Um, when you level up, you will sometimes learn the abilities as well. So the first Orpheus level will allow you to increase your strength by one, your endurance by one and your agility by one. You will also learn the spell Aggie, which is the equivalent to fire. And we are done. The monsters are gone. It seems Yukari is safe too. Dot 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 dot. You feel exhausted. You are um, losing your consciousness. Dot 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 dot. Are you okay? Oh 
come on! Please, can you hear me? Answer me! So, the question is, are we dead or not? The question will have to be answered in the next episode because we are out of time for this coming episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Persona 3 Portable, we will find out if we are dead or not. And I have always wanted to end an episode on a cliffhanger. So is the main character dead or not? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. This has been Let's Play Pers Persona 3 Portable. I have been your host, Stephen O'Shea 10,000. And this is, in fact, Stephen O'Shea 10,000 signing up for now. Catch you later, guys.